Howdy. How are you? Here to see Dan. That would be me. Hey. How are you, man? Good to meet you. Phil Plate. Phil? Yeah. Cool. What can I do for you today? Uh, you can ink me. How's that? Uh, that's, that's my job, yeah. <laughs> okay, awesome. <laughs> and what I'm looking for is uh, a meteor, an asteroid, burning up in Earth's atmosphere. Oh, great. Yeah, it's going to be you know pretty dynamic. Okay, cool. Uh, like full color? Like all the, the crazy you know fire you colors, oranges and yellows and yeah. stuff? Yeah. I'm an astronomer, and I write a lot about asteroid impacts. And so it seemed pretty natural to get that as a tattoo. Just to kind of capture the galaxy, but obviously it's a it's, it's black and there's a lot of detail going on. So maybe we could just do like little sections just so it gives that effect, but it's not gonna be super time consuming and take up a big area. You know what I mean? Right. So um, yeah, cool. And, cool and minimizing the hurt. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm a scientist. So yeah, I don't wanna, you know, cry or anything okay. like that. Okay, okay, well I think you should be fine. <laughs> you should be fine. Is this your first tattoo? Oh yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. All right, well thanks for coming to see me. All right. Uh, just give me a few minutes. I'll, uh, I'll sketch something up for you. And you can tell me if you like it or you hate it, and uh, we can go from there. <laughs> All right, no worries. All right, cool. All right, thank you. Thanks for coming in, man. All right. All right, Phil. Yes, sir. You want to come and have a look at this? Is that cool? Ah, uh, uh, cool. That's yeah. what I'm looking for. How's that? That looks just right. Yeah? Yeah, I think this'll do. Cool, yeah, I think it's a good size for the muscle, you know, it takes up most of it. Um, and you know, like, say here and here, there's gonna be the, the darker shades, like in the, the right. black sky, you know? So, um, yeah, and the flames going up the shoulder, that'll make me look like I'm moving faster as yeah. I'm walking down yeah. the street, so that's perfect. <laughs> Sounds okay. good. Cool. All right, yeah. man, the time has Neat. come, let's do it. All right. So you're a scientist, huh? Well, yeah. Trained classically, yeah. PhD in astronomy. A day in the life of a scientist? What, what happens? Tell me. Like anybody else, get up, eat, send the kid off to school, get my coffee, go into work. Yeah. And then uh, look at the latest Hubble Space Telescope images on my computer. So oh, wow. it, uh, that was actually really cool for several years, working on Hubble and being able to do that. And a lot of the times, you know, most of the images are pretty dull. Just star fields or little fuzzy galaxies and it's so not that interesting from, but like the previous night or something or yeah usually yeah, yeah the day before or the past couple of days yeah but then every now and again you know you'd see something and everybody would be like oh it's showing around it's like oh look at this really? we gotta, yeah we got a spectacular galaxy or some you know some big gas cloud or something that's really beautiful and that was always a lot of fun wow imagine imagine discovering something like that that would be cool i miss it sometimes i was um I'm not a not a big time leader, research scientist kind of guy, and, and uh, so I was always just part of the team. Right. But after a while, I decided that uh, I like talking about it, writing about it more than I like doing it. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. So you applied kind of what you learned and took it elsewhere. Like you, you've done a lot of writing. Yeah, I've written a couple of books and uh, oh, cool. Write a you know, write a blog that's a big astronomy blog. Yeah, the first one was uh, myths and misconceptions about astronomy. And uh, the second one's actually called Death from the Skies, and it's all about stuff like this. That's why I picked this, uh, this tattoo. I wrote about asteroid impacts and, right, and right. comets hitting the Earth and wiping out the dinosaurs and all it's, that kind of stuff. That's something you've obviously done a lot of research on. When it comes to choosing an astronomical tattoo, there's a lot to pick from, you know? And I, and I thought about it, and galaxies, the space shuttle, but when my wife actually came up with the idea of an asteroid burning up in Earth's atmosphere, I knew that was perfect because I've written about this stuff a lot, and so it's exactly what I wanted. It's colorful, it's dynamic, it's uh, you know scary, it's catastrophe, disaster movie kind of stuff. So hey, you know, as soon as she said it, I knew that was what I wanted to get. You think one is on the way, huh? Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, sure. They're they're we're hit by uh, meteors all the time. Matter of fact, there's 20 to 40 tons of, of junk out in space that hits us every day. But it's dust, so you know you go out at night and you see a shooting star, that's what you're seeing. It's r much r more rare for bigger things to hit. So uh, something that's big enough to do real damage, like uh, something the size of a football stadium, yeah. that's, those are you know, a thousand years apart or more. Oh, wow. But still, that could, that could kill millions of people overnight. You know, we got, what, six million people here in the Los Angeles area? So something that big could kill that many people in minutes. So that's why we're out there looking for these things all the time and if we see one with our number on it, you know, I gotta figure out what to do about it. Right, right. You don't want this to happen. <laughs> this is fine as a tattoo, but it would kind of suck in real life. 
All right, man, we are done. Awesome. Go check out your new addition. You bet. Let's do it. You ready? Yeah. Holy holly aqua, look at that. How's that? We're all gonna die! <laughs> Man, boy, those colors just pop right out, don't they? When I first walked up the mirror, uh, it was pretty cool. You know, I could look down and kind of see it as, as he was doing it, but I didn't have a very good perspective on it. Turning, you know, my shoulder to the mirror and then seeing it uh, was really, really nice. If you have any other aftercare instructions, just uh, let me know. Okay, cool. All right, thank you. All right, man. All right, take again. it easy. Take care. Bye-bye.